Hello and welcome here to Talk Games TV and welcome to the preview of Deportiva La Coruña against Barcelona live on Sunday evening and that is going to be a really big clash in La Liga as we try to continue the great form we've had since losing at the Anoeta against Real Sociedad and this is a great opportunity for us. This is a really, really good chance to go to a side who's not doing that well in La Liga. It's their first season back in the Primera. They're finding things difficult. They're 16th in the league, lingering just above the relegation zone. It's a real chance chance for us now to go there, put down a marker, start scoring some goals, start putting a bit of a run together and keeping that confidence going throughout the squad and keeping that momentum flowing. And I'm absolutely, I'm really, really confident this week that this could finally be the week that I predict Luis Enrique starting 11. I haven't managed to do it yet this season. I've had a few names wrong each week, but I am finally sure that this week I could well do it for the first time. I've got that starting 11 in mind. I've been working on it. I've been looking at some of the press conferences that he said and I think I might have got it. So that's coming up later in the video. But first of all, what does this mean? Well, we've got to go there and we've got to do well because Real Madrid and Atleti are both on on Sunday as well. So the pressure is going to be high. Again, there's absolutely no chance that we can drop any points. It's that simple now. From here to the end of the season, we've got to have that mentality that we've got to keep on winning games. We can't afford to go into a game knowing that if we drop points, Real Madrid and Atletico are going to start getting away from us. We're in second in the league. We're one point behind Real Madrid. They've still got a game in hand. And a lot of people hear a lot of people saying, guys, oh, Real Madrid have got a game in hand, so they're basically four points ahead. Well, that game in hand is against Sevilla, who are absolutely flying this season. So I wouldn't get too ahead of yourselves on that. The points aren't on the board, so until they're on the board, we're still only one point behind Real Madrid, and we're still very much in the title race, because... Going into this game, we are on good form, and it seems really, really strange to say that when last, you know, a week ago, you know, against Real Sociedad two weeks ago, um, it was really down, wasn't it? It looked like everything was over. Our season had finished in January 2014 and started really, really badly for us. But credit to the boys, credit to the players, credit to Luis Enrique. They've turned it round. They've got some form going. We destroyed Elche in the first leg of the cup. We went and played against Atletico at the camp now. We destroyed them. We destroyed Elche in the second leg of the cup. And now we've got some really good games. We've got Depor away this weekend. We've got Elche away in the league next weekend. We've already seen what we can do to them. And that's how we got to finish our month. We've got the two ties against Atletico Madrid as well. So by the end of this month, we could have taken some really good points from our games scored a lot of goals, and we could well be in the semi-final of the Copa del Rey, which I think is a good competition that we can go in, we can keep progressing in, and there's a really good chance of a trophy at the end of it. So I think this is a big game because I think Luis Enrique has got to pick a strong-ish team. He's going to have Atletico in mind, but the amount of players that he rested against Elche in the week, I do feel that he will recall his big guns for this one. Injury news, um, Xavi... Neymar are doubts for this game. Neymar is still recovering from that kick that Jimenez gave him against Atleti. He has sort of regained training, he's regained his fitness, but there are still lingering doubts over his fitness and whether he should play this game because I think he has recovered from that injury because it was only a slight knock, but playing him in this game, seen as Depor aren't doing that well, we may not need to risk him ahead of some big games against Atletico in the Copa. So I think it'd be best to rest him in this game, possibly leave him on the bench and bring him on later, but of course the big names are going to be starting and I'm going to be going over those in just a second. Xavi is still a little bit of a doubt. He did train with the group yesterday but he has not yet received the medical green light and Jerry Machia will definitely miss this game. He picked up some discomfort in that game against Elche in midweek. So just some news there. Some news on Munir El Haddadi. Um, he's gone back to train with Barcelona B and he has been included in their squad to play Recreativo this weekend. So it seems that he has now returned to Barca B and will play there for the foreseeable future so that's good in a way it is good to see Munir going back to Barca B I think he needs to regain his confidence he needs to be taken out the spotlight for a while and he does need to you know stop the pressure getting on top of him so that's a good move for him Sandra has returned to this squad as well he's back from injury but in terms of our game this is the lineup that I think Luis Enrique will go with I'm going to go with Bravo in goals, of course. The, the league goalkeeper, Ter Stegen, did really well in midweek, but Bravo is going to play this one. Alves and Alba, wing backs. Uh, centre backs will be Pique and Mascherano. Defensive midfield, Busquets. The midfield will be Rakitic and Iniesta, despite Sergio Roberto and Rafinha playing really, really well in midweek. And then the strikers, I think, will be Pedro, ne uh, Pedro Suarez and Messi. And I hope that is the lineup because what he has to start doing is being consistent. We've said it all season long. The rotation will do us good. 
in the long term. But now it's now it's time. We've had the rotation. We've saved our players. We haven't had too many injuries. Touch wood. And what we got to do now is get some consistency going and get some players in that lineup that know they're going to be there week in week out. They can start to gather an understanding between themselves and they can start playing to each other's strengths and feeling as though they are part of a team, part of a core. And that's really really important. So that's the team that I think will play. I think Pedro, Messi, and, and Suarez will be enough to take care of Deportivo. Um, in terms of uh, our record against them, six games we played against them uh, in the last few years, we've won five of those and drawn just the one. Deportivo have failed to score in last in the six of their last eight La Liga matches. And uh, in the last three games against Deportivo away, we have scored three or more goals. So... Certainly in terms of the record books, we're expected to go to Depor and absolutely blitz them. But, of course, we know it's not always going to be like that. They're going to park the bus. I think it's really important that we make the breakthrough nice and early on. We've got to put them under pressure. We've got to pass the ball quickly. We've got to really start from the off and try and get that goal in the first few minutes. That would really help us out. But uh, hopefully we can go into this game and get the result. I'm going to go with 3-0. I'm really confident going into this one. I hope that doesn't come back to haunt me. I'm going to go with 3-0. Leave your score predictions and lineup predictions below. Do you agree with my lineup? Hopefully we can and finally crack Luis Enrique and just another thing guys as well I've heard a lot of people saying um, you know can I start to do some writing now if you don't follow me on Facebook uh, or Twitter they're both in the description but if you don't follow me there then you won't have known that I have started doing some some writing pieces and there are some there's two articles in the link below um, there's one uh, describing our front three and how their understanding is growing and there's another one on uh, Munir El Haddadi and what that, this uh, return to Barca B will do for his confidence so those two articles are in the link down below in the description so if you want to check those out a moment to feedback of course let me know what you think shall I keep on doing them what do you like about them etc so just letting you know they're there just in case you haven't seen them but of course I'll be here tomorrow of course with reaction following the depot game hopefully we can get a positive result but like I say I am confident going into it hopefully we can get the win so leave your thoughts down below guys like this video if you did enjoy it and of course I'll see you very soon but until then Viscera Barca, Barca!